What's going on you guys? My name is Megan and this is This Past Romance where I talk to you about all of the romance books that I've been reading. Today I'm going to tell you about all the romance books that I read in the month of November if I can stop spinning in my chair. Um, I'm going to start with the one book that I DNF'd and then I'm going to go in order of how I read them this month but I think that's going to change in December. I'm going to try to do it in ranking order, but I didn't think to even keep track of it until this weekend. So, it's, I'm learning. Um, so, the book that I DNF'd was 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. Um, I love The Hating Game. I think it's fantastic. And this book is darker. Um, I'm, I've listened to the first three chapters. I listened to it on audio while I was at work. And it was okay. Um, it wasn't my favorite. So, I DNF'd it. I think if I physically read it, I would probably like it. But, because I was listening to it and I was working, it was just, it wasn't working out for me uh, to listen to it. So now, I'm going to talk to you about all of the books that I actually read. And again, these are going to be in like the order that I read them and not in any kind of sensible order. So the first book that I read in November is Truth or Beard by Penny Reed. This is the first book in the Winston Brothers series. And it follows Dwayne. Um, he's one of the twins. Follows Dwayne Winston and Jessica James. Uh, Jessica is in love, has been in love with Dwayne's brother Bo her whole life. And he's the sweet one. He's the charismatic one. He has the personality. He's got the charm. Dwayne is like the total, or I'm sorry, no, Bo is like the total package. And Dwayne is real stoic and like standoffish and he's just very blunt and no one really likes Dwayne and everybody loves Bo. Bo is like the all-around favorite Winston brother in the town. Um, so Jessica leaves town and she goes to college. She comes back to be a calculus teacher and pay off her student loans. And she goes to the Halloween party at the community center, just like everybody else in this little town. And she runs into Dwayne, who she thinks is Bo. Things get hot and heavy fast because she thinks it's Bo and that Bo is showing her interest. And then she later bumps into Bo, finds out he was Dwayne. And Dwayne's like, you didn't give me a chance to tell you that I wasn't Bo. And it's, it's their story. It's how they fall in love. And it's very sweet. And I love their book. Um... It's my second favorite in the series. I've read four so far. Um, and then I've read a couple of the spinoffs. I've read three of the spinoffs. But I've read all of those in December. So we won't talk about those today. But this is my second favorite book of the four that I've read in, in the original series. Um, the second book that I read was Grin and Bearded by, also by Penny Reed. It is the second book in the series. It is Jethro's book. Jethro's the oldest Winston brother. He was a member of the biker gang in town, the Iron Race. And he got out. And he's now a park ranger. And he is patrolling the park. And he runs into this woman on the side of the road who's broken down. I think her car, her car ran out of gas or it broke down. I'm pretty sure it ran out of gas. And her, she doesn't have cell service. So her GPS gave out. And, um... Jethro helps her, gets her in his car. He's like, I'll call a wrecker. Like, we'll handle your car. What's your name? And she's a movie star. Her name is Sienna. And she says, she like mumbles it at him. And he's like, oh, Sarah, cool. And he calls her Sarah for like the first, I don't know, 10 chapters of this book. Because she never corrects him. He doesn't know she's famous. He's like, she's like one of the most famous stars in the world. And in this book at that time, she writes her movies and she stars in them and stuff. And finally, Cletus is like, that's not her name is not Sarah and he's like yeah it is she told me it was and he's like that's Sienna Diaz like she's the star of this movie so they work he ends up working on the movie set and helping um the production team with like wrangling anything that happened could happen in the forest pretty much and it's it's his and Sienna's love story and it's really sweet it moves really fast um all these Winston boys. My favorite thing they say, and it, it runs through all of the books. Uh, and Cletus is my favorite person that has said it. Cletus is book three. He's the brother in book three. Um, but he says, they say they're suited. 
and once they're once they get the time then they're they're gonna marry this person they'll court them for two months they're suited so they're going to get married and they're just going to do it really fast and i think that it's hilarious so green and bearded book two it is my third favorite book in the in the series so far and then I took a break because I put off reading Cletus's book, so I did not read them in order. So the next book I read is The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. <sighs> I loved Gavin. This book follows Gavin and Thea. Gavin is a baseball player. Thea is his wife. They had, um, they were dating and she got pregnant really quick and had twins. And he got really famous. Like all of a sudden... And basically, he finds out that she's been faking her orgasms. <laughs> and he just spirals. He just spirals out of control. So the Bromance Book Club is a bunch of guys in Nashville. These uh, sports stars, tech industry, like nightclubs. It's these men who read romance books so they can be better boyfriends, husbands, siblings whatever to the women in their lives so they do it it's it, it comes from a good place um so gavin's like i don't i don't want to do this i don't want to read these books and mac is my favorite character he's he is book two's main character mac is my favorite like main character uh my favorite character overall is vlad the russian uh his book is book four it comes out in 2021 i'm really excited about that but that's a uh, whole tangent I didn't need to go on and Mac Mac convinces Gavin like just do this just do this it'll help you win her back like they're on the brink of divorce the cutest thing about Gavin is he has a stutter and at one point in the book one of the other baseball wives is being really mean to Thea and she's like I bet he even stutters in bed and Thea's like yeah he does and Mac's like B -b 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 -b. oh my god my heart melted. I loved it. I love Gavin. He's fantastic. Um, I highly recommend Romance Book Club if you've not read it. I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. I got my mom to read it and she passed me up. So I read the first two and bought the third one. Um, she read them all three over Thanksgiving weekend. Like was laughing out loud. I was sitting beside her reading a book and my mother was cackling and I was like okay she really likes this book um then I read No Offense by Meg Cabot I'm really disappointed in this book it wasn't bad by any means like it was a good book but I was disappointed in it because it's not what I thought it would be um and maybe that's on me but this book follows Molly and John Molly is a children's librarian in this small town I don't remember what it's called it's like a beach town and John is the sheriff of the town. Uh, John is recently divorced. He's got like a teenage daughter. Um, Molly is kind of new to town. She's a children's librarian again. And there's a baby left in the library in one of the bathroom stalls in the women's restroom. And this book follows Molly and John as they try to figure out who the parents are and how to like save the baby. Um, I gave it a three out of five. It, again, it wasn't bad. It was not a bad book wasn't my favorite um I love the Princess Diaries series so I think in my head that's kind of what I expected I also didn't expect it to be a mystery and like the person ends up being I, d I didn't like when they showed up and how that all happened and it's it's a good book if you like a mystery it's short it's like a novella um it's the second book in a series I just haven't read the first one so maybe I would like it better if I read the first one then I read, I listened to on audio, um, The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. I have mixed emotions about this book. Um, Nick, this book follows Nick and Carlos. Nick goes to a Dodgers baseball game with her boyfriend. They've been together for six months. And he proposes to her at this baseball game on the Jumbotron. And she's like, what are you doing? We've never even said I love you. Why would you do this? Um, so she turns him down he storms off he's a he's an actor he's very dramatic and Carlos and his sister come and they save her basically like because the camera's following her and like what is she gonna do now what's she gonna do and she's really awkward 
So Carlos and his little sister come and they save her because they happen to be at the baseball game. They get her to a bar where her friends are meeting her and it's just it's really sweet. Um, but there's a lot of unnecessary stupidity on Carlos's part. He's like a pediatrician or something. He does, he, he's, he's a kid doctor of some sort. He's like a pediatrician or a pediatric surgeon or something like that. And he's like, I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want this. I don't want that. But they are basically dating this whole time. And he's like, I don't want that. And it basically was just the fact they didn't have a label. But like they were dating. Um, Nick was great. Carlos was mad. Uh, three out of five. So now I'm going to tell you guys about my favorite book that I read in November and probably honestly in 2020 um, unless something rolls in in December and just stops it and it would probably just be him again. Um, Beard Science book three in the Winston Brothers series about Cletus Winston. I believe in karma and 100% me loving this book like I do is straight up karma. Because I told Tamika when I read the first two books, I was like, this man's name is Cletus. They want me to believe I'm going to love a man named Cletus. This is ridiculous. And in the first two books, it sets him up. And he's kind of weird. Um, that all goes out the window in book three. I love him. In his book. So this book... Is a 10 out of 5. I love Cletus, but this book follows Jennifer Sylvester. She's the banana cake queen, and all of these books are, like, interwoven, so you can read them as standalones. Like, you can read Beard Science by itself, but you will get a better understanding for Cletus if you read Truth or Beard and Grin and Beard at first, because he is, um, he's a really important secondary character in both of those books, so you get to find out more about him in those two books, and then why this book is so good. So, uh, Jennifer Sylvester is the banana cake queen. She's like 22. Her parents have sheltered her her whole life. She did not go to public school. Her mom homeschooled her. Her dad is, tells her that women should dress a certain way or, you know, they'll be punished by God. And it's, it's a lot. It's very dramatic. And, uh, her mom has her, she has Instagram where she's like a million followers and they're trying to like bank on that and make money off of it. They don't pay her for her baking and she ends up going to do an interview with the town sheriff and she catches Cletus on tape committing a crime basically and she blackmails him into helping her find a husband because she's like if I have a husband and kids my parents will get off of my back. Maybe they'll pay me like she's got this big list of stuff she's like I just I just want a husband and kids I think it'll make me happy and Cletus is like uh, am I supposed to marry you? And she's like, no, I don't want to marry you. Sweet Jesus, Cletus. <laughs> and that's paraphrasing. But um, essentially, Cletus starts to help her. There is fake dating. Um, there's, there's a couple plot twists um, that I really enjoyed. My favorite thing, she gets into kind of a scuffle at the Piggly Wiggly and Cletus is there to save her and she doesn't know he's anywhere around and he keeps telling his brother he's like I just want to throw her over my shoulder like a caveman and his brother's like don't do that seriously she'll hate it so she gets in the scuffle at the Piggly Wiggly and he's afraid she's gonna get hurt so he literally just chucks her over his shoulder and he's like all right it's time to go <laughs> like they take off it's great Jennifer's character development though I think is why I like this book so much because she spends the first part of the book like I need to do this for my mom. I need to do this. I need to do this. I have to be this way, you know, and by the end of the book, she is a totally different person, but in a good way. She is independent. She is strong. Cletus is like, I want to take care of you. She's like, no, I don't need you to. And it is just fantastic. Jennifer Sylvester's character development is probably some of the best that I've, I've read. And again, I don't read a lot of like character development books. But that, this book is great. Jennifer is great. Cletus is my favorite. I love him. So, 10 out of 5. 6 out of 5. Whatever you want to say. I loved Cletus's book. So much so that I read it. I started, I read it in November and I read it three times. All together. In the month of November. Um, 
off my plate as tangent. I'm so sorry. Um, the next book I read was One to Watch by Katie Strayman London. I hated this book. I hated this book. Tamika, I would text Tamika and I was like, this is ridiculous. This is so stupid. And she would be like, just DNF it. Like, just stop. And I was like, I can't stop. I have to know how it ends now. It was garbage. B is a plus size fashion influencer and she writes this post on her blog. It's, she's got a popular blog. It's about how the producers of this show, Main Squeeze, promote being like all inclusive and this and that. And she's like, but you're really not. You're not size inclusive. All of these people look like supermodels. Like, if you're above a size four, you're not really on the show. And that's just not realistic. And um, so they make her the main squeeze. And it's basically like the bachelorette. She's like the bachelorette. And they are just mean to her. I thought. I felt they were just straight up mean. And she didn't believe anyone was there for genuine reasons. And it was just, it was just garbage. It was just one out of five. She was awful. I hated it. I don't ever want to read this book again. <laughs> um, so, I went from that book to another book that I didn't like. This is my least favorite of the Winston Brothers books that I've read. It is Beard in Mind. I thought that I would love Bo Winston's book because everybody loves Bo Winston. No, I didn't. Um, Shelly made me nervous because Shelly has OCD, like diagnosed, has a therapist. She had a couple of different mental things going on, but she has OCD. And this book, all of these books are a spinoff of the Knitting in the City series. Shelly is from, actually from the Knitting in the City series, City series. Her brother is the guy from the first book, I think. I didn't finish that book either, um, but I think I read it a while back. I read it in October. I DNF'd in October. Um, Shelly has OCD. It makes me anxious. Bo is really sweet. They don't get along. There's an age gap. Shelly is quite a bit older. Or not quite a bit older. She's a couple years older than him. And she works as a mechanic in the shop. And Bo's like, I don't like her. We need to fire her. And Cletus is like, I'm not firing her. Dwayne's leaving. This, you just have to deal. And this book is taking place during Cletus's book. So you don't get a lot of Cletus Bo overlap because Cletus is always helping Jennifer and he's like, dude, where have you been? And Cletus is like, I'm helping Jennifer Sylvester. And he's like, I thought you liked this person. And he's like, yeah, well, I lied. That's wrong. Never been wrong before, but that's wrong. Essentially, um, Bo's sweetness was a five out of five. It was, it was a three. It just made me really anxious. I had to walk away from it a couple different times and like take day breaks and listen to other books because Shelly's OCD made me nervous. So, uh, then I read Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade and this book, it was really cute. I did enjoy this one. Um, this follows a guy named Marcus. He stars on a show called Gods of Something. It's basically like Game of Thrones and he writes fanfic on this website and he meets a girl on the website and they become really good friends and she keeps wanting to meet him and he's like no you can't like I can't meet you and she ends up cosplaying as one of the female characters who's supposed to be really ugly or something and she posted on Twitter it goes viral he's like I'll take you on a date on Twitter to go on the state and she's April is her name April is like I you don't have to do this and he's like I really want to get to know you and blah 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 and April is a bigger girl she's plus size and she's like every time he like he's fit and has a six pack and stuff and he mentions like how he has to go to the gym she takes that to mean that he wants her to go to the gym so she quits talking to him and then she finds out that he is her friend from the website he knows that it's her she doesn't know that he is what does she call him bomb Bocconisius would never um, she doesn't know that's him it's it's a big mess um, but it ends up it's it ends up really cute it's really sweet he's very sweet and he just is misguided in his attempts. He's also dyslexic, so it's really cute. Like, the way he tries to help her, and she doesn't even know it. It's really sweet. It's 4 out of 5. 
I then made the mistake of reading Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. I love, I love romantic comedies. I love the movies. This book has a line about 27 dresses. It is one of my favorites. I love James Marsden and Katherine Heigl. I love that movie. I love everything about 27 dresses. I watched it in theaters when it came out and have watched it ever since. I loved it. Um, this book follows Annie and she loves romantic comedies and she is waiting for her Tom Cruise from the 90s romantic comedies of like You've Got Mail and Sleepless in Seattle. And she ends up getting a job on a movie that's taking place in her town because her uncle knows the director and the star of the movie like wants to date her basically and she's like no we're not my Tom Hanks and it's just a little ridiculous her love of romantic comedies is a little extra ridiculous and her little bubble that gets popped the way it happens it's just she like lives in this fantasy bubble that her mom was like this her mom passed away and her dad passed away she lives with her uncle and she's got this like a bubble vision of her mom and how she never loved anyone other than her dad that gets popped and I mean it, it was a good book but I don't I don't ever want to read it again <laughs> uh, I gave it a three out of five it was sweet Drew is very sweet and very attentive and she's just ridiculous I thought I felt she was ridiculous I've got two more books that are in November. I read Undercover Bromance over Thanksgiving. I think I actually finished it on Thanksgiving. Um, this is the second book in the Bromance Book Club series it's by Lisa K. Adams. Um, it follows Mac from the first book. He owns a bunch of nightclubs and he has decided he finally wants to settle down and like just date one person. And he's trying to woo this uh, public defender and he's spending like a thousand dollars on cupcakes and stuff and he ends up um, trying to win over Liv, so Thea's sister from book one. I could not stand her. Everything she did made me mad. Everything Mike did, he tried so hard to help her and she just would not let him. She had some serious trust issues and stuff. Um, it has a lot of plot twists though and this book is a lot deeper than book one um there's trigger warning for like sexual assault and it was just the whole book the grand gesture they always do a grand gesture in the book because that's what they call it because that's what they do in the books like in the romance books they read so they call it the grand gesture moment it's always a big elaborate thing and it was fantastic in this book um I highly recommend that whole series. I'm getting ready to read book three, maybe today. Um, it follows Noah. Uh, so they're so good. I love these books. Like I said, my mom was cackling at this book while she was reading it. She read, she devoured them. Um, and last but not least in November, I read Engagement and Espionage by Penny Reed. This is a spinoff series of the Winston Brothers. And it follows Cletus and Jennifer because they have a spinoff series. <laughs> and I love it. In my real life, I have not shut up about Cletus ever since I read his book. I've not shut up. I've told everybody. I've told Tamika. I've told my mom. I have a friend that doesn't even read romance books. I'm like, you need to read this book. And she's like, Megan, I'll hate it. And I'm like, I know. But I just need you to read it. <laughs> um, so... This book takes place after the after Beard Science and uh, Jennifer keeps making these promises to Cletus and her parents are going through a divorce and um, her dad is just kind of being a jerk and so her mom is just constantly needing her and constantly calling her and like every time they get to spend some time together her mom calls it's almost like her mom is watching them she's not it's almost like this was happening and Cletus is so patient and so sweet and he is constantly like coming up with schemes <laughs> to like hurt people that keep hurting Jennifer so yeah 20 out of 10 highly recommend